I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards, hanging their victims up like trophies. I'm just glad it's over. While we can do nothing for Gabriel's victims, we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed. But enough about that. The task is done. And you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased. Dad says I'm as good as he is. Member Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. What? This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. How could this happen? We think there was a system glitch. We're looking into it. Damn it, you're all useless. I'll figure out what happened. But in the meantime, tell the others to be on high alert. I want more patrols and more rounds. Right away, sir. If you see anything even remotely suspicious, report it immediately. This absolutely cannot happen again. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood. Synths aren't human beings, but supposedly they're the future of humanity. I'll never understand it. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. <sighs> Your quarters are just inside, sir. <clears throat> Your quarters are just inside, sir. When you're finished here, sir, father wants to see you. If you require maintenance, please file a report with the Facilities Division. Tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? That's a loaded question. 
What's been stolen from you? Institute property is not often taken from us. We cannot react lightly when it happens. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths, in their delusion that synths are somehow... sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more... emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Where are the synths located? A small settlement at the old Bunker Hill Monument. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the Railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. Is it just me, or will I have backup? Of course, sir. We'll be waiting for you outside Bunker Hill. You'll have support should you need it. But we want to keep this small. much good at this point. I don't think we're alone. Hey, X4. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside, four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now.
Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Oh no. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just... just don't. Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. What? I don't want to go back. Please, don't no make sudden me moves. go back. No sudden moves. Please, no. What's so bad about the Institute? I just... I couldn't take it anymore. End of the road for you. But... All right, Synth. Please! Why don't you want to go back? I... I don't know. I wanted... My own life, I guess. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. X4. We must proceed with the mission. We must proceed with the mission. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just, just don't. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta 77 Tempest. All right, Synth. Please. Z322, initiate reset. Authorization code Gamma 49 Typhoon. I have been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. Hey, X-4. We must proceed with the mission. Hey. What? There's something bothering you? Your thoughts? A synth taking up in Libertalia. I suppose some folks will do anything to get away from the Institute. Your thoughts? Storming Bunker Hill. The Institute That's doesn't care who they hurt to get what they want, do they? Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. Are things okay I between you and me? Well, traveling with you beats Before being held prisoner in some return. vault. That's for darn sure. So, <laughs> I'd say we're fine. That's all. Well, all right. John, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It's not so bad, really. People manage. Perhaps. But at a cost too great to be worth it. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. 
an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. What do you mean the synths will be repurposed? Modifications will be made to correct the defects in their programming, and they'll be assigned to new duties within the Institute. Not the first or last time it will happen. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. Son. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we oh, speak to clean floor. Yes. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? It's Can more. you not see the grime and dust? Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Doctor. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed with replacing people with machines. I've been saying for years that we're too reliant on these synths. But nobody wants to listen. 
Maybe you can talk some sense into them. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Operating at full capacity. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ao has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um... Watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on Phase 3? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3, and to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now... There is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. Everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists 
What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. We don't usually welcome outsiders. I hope you can appreciate your good fortune. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I don't know if I'm right for this. Well, I clearly have faith in you. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing.